What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brown walkthrough. Okay, so, look at that, guys. It's colored. There's nothing too uh, different about this, except we finally have color. Yes! Finally! And, uh, well, you know, it's a huge shout-out to Toothless136. Thank you very, very much for helping me find out how to actually get the color onto this game. All you have to do if you're using the VBA is go to options, go to Game Boy, and put it on automatic option, and right there and then, boom, you got color. Wish I would have, uh, wish I would have known that for Pokemon Red and Blue. Kind of makes me want to restart those games and uh, do them in color now. Yeah. Eh, we'll eventually get through that. So, anywho, in our last episode, we went through a lot of uh, stuff, trials and tribulations, and yes, we actually caught a few good Pokemon, battled a few Pokemon and all that stuff. As you can see, our team is leveled up, and we got ourselves a uh, Bruce Lee right here. Look at this guy, in color. Alright, we need to go into the door and see what's next right here. Now, this game is getting a little interesting, and we need to talk to this guy. He's like, this is where I live because I have no money. That's kind of sad. That's very sad. Okay, so, now... I'm assuming this is like an underground path, and I'm kind of just like going up and down just to see if there's any kind of like, you know, uh, free stuff right here. Could be wrong. I don't know. We, we, we shall see. But look at this, guys. We're in color now. Finally. I didn't have to restart anything. I didn't have to do anything except for just follow the instructions. And, well, look at that. It's a godsend. Look at that. Color in brown. And, well, let's see. This path goes to Route 52, a.k.a. the Hayward Docks. Okay, so now we're going to be going straight here and... Whoa, hold on just a sec. I think we've already been here. Yeah, we... <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I feel stupid. Never mind, let's go straight down to the Hayward Docks. And use the B button right here. Holy crud. See, it's been a while since I've actually recorded on this game right here, guys. Again, I, I, you know, I record in bunches... And so I guess we are in the Hayward box, uh, Docks right here. We're going to be finding some new and, and interesting stuff. Here we have a Great Ball. And, well, let's see. We're going to be finding some other stuff running around and hopefully not battle anybody. And look at that. Oh, shoot. Look at that. Okay. And, well, as you can see, we are looking into a whole bunch of patches of grasses. Here we go in up against an Ekans at level 9. And, well, yeah, I don't want to battle Ekans right now. Especially with our Pokemon all leveled up and whatnot. And, well, let's see. There is a house right there. And, yes, we are going to be attacked by a Metapod right here. So let's go ahead and just not do anything right here. So let's go straight right here. Now, from here on, we're actually going to just be editing the whole, like, wild Pokemon, okay? So, again, again, very, very sorry if, like, this is, like, if it's repetitive or anything. We need repels. Yes, we're going to get that. Now, let's see. If you talk to this guy, live in the city? Why, I love it here. No darn annoying hood rats. Oh, wow. Well, that's new. Hood rats. Talk to this kid right here, and he's like, I'm looking for an Abra. Want to trade one for a Magmar? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so we do have an Abra. It's in the PC, so... Ah, damn it. Okay. Got to get back to this guy in a little bit. We got to get that Magmar. We have to get that Magmar. Okay, so let us move on right here, guys. And find some more Pokemon, I guess. Okay, I so we don't need that kind of battle right now. And, well, let's see. There's a lot of grass, and there's an entrance right there. Let's go right in and talk to these people. This gate leads straight to Hayward City. I love the city. Uh, okay, so, but I want to know where the hood rats are. Hi, remember me? I'm Professor Tim's aide. If you caught 70 kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an, a, a super rod. So, Draven, have you caught seven, at least 70 Pokemon? No. Okay, so we need to get 70 Pokemon for a Super Rod. That is, uh, that is intense. Okay. That is real intense. So, here we are in Hayward City, guys. And, well, let's see. Trainer tips. Pressing B during an evolution cancels the whole process. Okay, that is true. And, well, this lady right here is telling us that our fossils can be uh, revived by a guy in white. And, well, let's go straight to the Pokemon Center because we need to heal our Pokemon. And, you know what? Let's get that Abra. That way we can actually, like, you know, trade it for a Magmar, hopefully become a stronger Pokemon. I know that we have Zoro on the team, but, uh, you know, I'm always looking for newer talent and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and go to the PC. There it is, someone's PC right there. Deposit, uh, let's deposit Zoro for the time being. And let's go ahead and grab Ultra Psycho. Now, we will be capturing another Abra and calling it Ultra Psycho again. 
it's not the end of the world, it's just that, you know, I kind of want to, you know, complete the Pokédex and all that stuff. Grab myself some pretty strong Pokémon right here. Okay, so let's go back to Hood Rats. Alright, Hood Rats, where are you? We are looking for Hood Rats. And, well, here's the kid, and, well, let's go ahead and trade him that, that Abra for a Magmar right here. And, well, here is our first trade in Pokemon Brown, and we're sending away our Abra for a Magmar. Now, I'm kind of hoping that the level, the levels are the same or something? Probably? But it does have some pretty interesting moves or something? I don't even know. I haven't played this game in a, ever. So, here we go. We sent that Abra to the trainer, and now we are going to be getting ourselves a Magmar. Hopefully it's strong. Hopefully it's better than, you know, advertised or something like that. I don't know. So, here we go. Getting a Magmar. Sweet, sweet Magmar right here. And, well, there's Magmar looking like a butthead himself. And, yes, take good care of Magmar. Okay, so there it is. The trade has been completed. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Magmar here. And, yes, it is at the same level as the Pokemon I traded it. It's a level 6, and it does have some pretty good stats, and it only has one move right now. I could I could use it. I, I, I probably should use it. I don't know. Eventually, trade it or battle it right here. I don't know. Whatever feels natural. Let's go ahead and switch it up and see what we can do right here. So, uh, I might speed through this, train it just a little bit. I don't know, guys. Okay, so it is a pretty good Pokemon. It does get that boosted ability, but it fainted and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and continue our adventure right here in Hayward City. And I believe this is where you can actually, yeah. This is where you can actually revive fossils. So if you talk to this guy, wow, he yells at us saying, get out. Oh, I'm looking for a Clefairy. Want to trade for a Lapras? Holy crud, I think I have a, okay, please, please tell me I have a, a Clefairy here. Oh my god, I completely forgot that I, I, I if I captured one, and holy crud, holy shit. Let's see, let's see. Alright, let's deposit a Pokemon. Let's go throw dude in. Please, please tell me I caught a Clefairy at, like, some point. Oh my god. I caught a Clefairy. Okay, so we're going to be switching out our Pokemon right here. And we are going to be trading for a Lapras. Holy crud. Alright, so let's see. Go ahead that's right oh yes say goodbye to moonlight and say hello to Lapras and the great thing about this is that they get the boosted uh, a boosted stat basically just uh, you know when they get traded BAM they grow a little bit faster with the new trainer so this is gonna be something good now the only problem is that we're not gonna be naming this Pokemon Nessie because it's not necessarily our own uh, our own Lapras right here so here we go Lapras is going to me yes sir alrighty and well bring me Lapras so we got two rare Pokemon in the same episode especially when it's colored look at that Lapras looking like a beast right here holy crud okay so I think oh yeah I'm having fun I'm definitely having fun right here alright let's go ahead and take a look at this Lapras of course its uh, name is Kathy level 3 and it's both water and ice and it does have two good moves right now so Leveling it up won't be that hard. I think, you know, we're, we're starting to get a good sense of what our team is going to be like and all that stuff. Who knows? We might even we might even trade for some more Pokemon. So let's go ahead and take a look uh, at Hayward City right here. A calm, peaceful city to live at. Okay, let's see. Slowbro, where are you? It's hopeless. Is he gone forever? I love my Slowbro. Hmm. You loved your Slowbro, and... Well, Team Rockets came to Kanto to terrorize our nice town. You see any suspicious uh, men lately? If so, report it. Report it to me and I'll deal with them. Okay, Superman, whatever you say. And, it, well, there's one guy. Hey, kid, get out of here right now, huh? What am I doing here? Isn't really your business. Okay, so here we have a one Team Rocket member. And, well, he wants to fight. Coming out with a match up at level 17. And here we go with uh, Hurricane. And, well, let's go straight for a Gust attack right here. And, okay, so why wasn't that super effective? I do not know. Let's go straight ahead and go with Sunny right here. Now, level 17 match up. That's a little difficult right there. And, well, here comes another Karate Chop. 
Crap best gets on a crapsicle stick. Let's go with the leech seed. Oh yes, you are. N you're gonna get uh, methodically defeated right here and crud. Okay, so there we go. Leech seed does its thing. Let's go with a poison powder. Try to defeat this guy double time, and there goes another karate chop, and we get saved. Look at that, we're defeating him without even putting a finger, and well, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon right here, because we don't need to uh, have Sunny faint right now. And let's see, another Karate Chop does a hit, and here's a Poison, and here's a uh, Leech Seed, look at that. We are, we are surviving right here. So here we go with the Vine Whip, and well, another Karate Chop, hopefully not a critical hit, and CRUD! Critical hit! Okay, let's go with uh, Kathy right here. I know what I know what you guys are thinking. It's suicide, but crud. Hold on, hold on, stay, 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 stay. God dang it. Okay, so I was planning on like making this Pokemon a little stronger, but it's okay. Let's go with the Leer attack, and yeah, this Machop is uh, is having his way with us right now. Good gravy. Alrighty. Oh god, okay, so let's go with Shroomy right here. Throwing every Pokemon in it in an existence right here. And well let's go with the scratch attack. Here comes a karate chop. Not effective, but here comes a uh, poison and leech seed at us. There we go. And there's a scratch attack just to add a little insult to injury. Critical hit. Shroomy does the thing, and well, here comes a drowsy. This right here is gonna be a little scary since it is a psychic type Pokemon. So let's go with a stun spore. And wow, it just uh, it messes it. Yeah, it messed this up right here. So here comes a confusion attack. Good gravy. There we go. We're stunting this guy. Now we got to just switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Hurricane. Do not want to risk uh, Bruce Lee right here. So let's see. Hurricane, not getting hurt. Let's go with a gust attack. I think I know the reason why gust wasn't working. It's because it's a normal attack. And here comes another disable. And, wow, okay, so it's a wind attack, so here we go. Look at that, gust attack. Oh my god, critical hit, and here comes a hypnosis, doesn't really work. So here we go again, gust attack for the win. God dang confusion. Oh my god. Oh my god, really, you're hitting us with that? So here we go again, another gust attack, nearly beats this guy, and, well, let's go again. Gust attack for the win. Look at that, critical hit victorious and well we defeated a team rocket member and we kind of just messed up right here okay take this don't kill me and we got ourselves the tm28 i better get moving by okay so what is the tm28 in this game right here let's see oh it's dig attack okay so it's the same sh it's the same deal as in pokemon you know red blue and yellow and well let's see if so, report it to me, and, well, he's still, well, yeah. I've already reported one. Now, we could go this way, but that right there requires some Pokemon. So, let's go ahead and switch out, or let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. Let's go, come on, heal my Pokemon. Heal my Pokemon. Okay, alrighty, so we're healed. Everything's good. Now, let's move on right here, and let's, alright, let's explore Hayward. A little bit more. Here's the Pokemart. And, well, let's see. Talking to this guy. I want to go east, but the bush is blocking my path. Let's see what the bu what, what kind of bush are we talking here. Somebody's bush or something. And Route 67, east of Hayward City. And, well, this is the one that he was talking about. And, well, there's going to be a lot of Pokemon right there. I am not going to risk it right now. We're just going to keep on, uh, con well, we're just going to keep on uh, touring the whole Hayward City right here. And, this guy right here is like, you can't go over here until you beat the Region League. Sorry. Okay, so looks like to me there's a lot of incentives around this whole thing. And there is Mira, our rival. And, well, he's telling me that he's getting stronger. So he's like, Draven, all right, let's see how good you really are, Mira. Oh, wow. So I'm actually speaking right here. Okay, so here we go. Take it on Mira. And he's coming out with a coughing level 18. So yes, we are going to be dealing with some stuff right here. Let's go. Gust attack. And I think that was super effective. 
Okay, so I need to learn the actual type disadvantages and advantages right here because I guess wind does good against poison? I don't know. Poison does good against wind? It doesn't make any sense, guys. And, well, look at that. Coughing. Defeated. Look at that. And, well, here comes a Doduo. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go shoot baskets. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Okay. Yeah, we don't have a Pokemon that can actually beat this guy. Actually, probably we do, and that is Bruce Lee right here, because I remember do using a Dodo against this guy. Let's go with a double kick. That quick attack hits us pretty hard, so here comes a double kick. Not so effective, but it's super strong. Look at that. Alright, Bruce Lee's actually uh, living up to the name right there, and well, let's continue on right here with Bruce Lee against, uh, you know, good old Cubone. Okay, all right, and look at that. Okay, all righty, so it's a normal hits right there, and here comes its tail whip attack. And, well, let's go ahead one more time, double kick. Hit me, baby, one more time, and look at that, level 21, what's up? And, well, he's about to come out with a Charmander. Do not want to risk it. Let's go with a little bit of Kathy right here. Now, I'm only bringing out Kathy just for this reason, just to grow it some levels and stuff. So, let's go ahead and switch it out and go back to Bruce Lee right here. Alright, let's see what you got. Scratch attack. Doesn't do much. Double kick. There we go. Look at that. Super, like, it's attacks through the roof. Pretty cool. I'm loving this. And, well, Kathy grows to level 5, which is good. And Mira has been defeated. Alrighty, okay. You may want, uh, you may have won this time, but I'm going to continue. Uh, I'm going to compete in the region league and become the the champion. And of course, I'm speaking right here. He's like, not before I do. Well, we'll see. We'll see about that, man. I'll see you later. Okay. Alrighty. That's kind of odd, but it's it's whatever. Okay. So yeah, we do have a poison Pokemon right here. So let's go straight back to the Pokemon Center. And uh, heal everybody up and all that crud. So here we are, healing Pokemon. Alrighty, dropping my phone everywhere. Good gravy. Look at that, I'm healed. Okay, alrighty. And, well, I think there's one more thing to check out. And that is, well, actually, two more things. Let's see what this place is all about. Oh, actually, we've already been there. Never mind. Uh, let's go straight to the Pokemon, because I kind of want to take a look at that. Actually, hold on, let's go right here. Talk to this girl. I'm handing out free region maps today. Go ahead and take one. And look at that. We get ourselves a map, which is good. And, well, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Talk to this guy. Only the best trainers have a chance at the region league. True. Very, very true. And, well, let's go straight into the Pokemon. Alrighty, so here we are in the in the mall right here, or not the mall, but the store, and of course this is the service counter, and it's going to be saying the trainer's market, TV shop, wise men gifts, and the drugstore, and of course you got yourselves the vending machines. Now if this is anything like Pokemon Red and Blue, you might have like a few surprises here and there. Now I'm going to go right here and see what we're all about. Now if you talk to this guy... Obviously, he's going to be selling a boatload of TMs, some which we already have, like TM28 Dig, one of them being Octazooka, I think this one is Bubble Beam, and the rest are, well, here we have TM08, which is probably Body Slam, so more than likely I'm going to be buying a few of these uh, these items, boosting up our Pokemon's uh, moves and all that stuff, that way we don't have to wait for learning or anything like that. And if you go to this guy, he's going to sell the usual, you know, the usual stuff, especially with a dire hit to boot and all that stuff. Now, let's see. I'm going to be running towards the next side right here. You talk to this guy, he'll give you the counter, uh, the counter TM. And let's see. If you go right here, this is probably the Wiseman gift. You talk to this guy, he will give you even more powerful TMs like Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and I would like to say this is Flamethrower. Now, these are at a good good price right here so like I said guys there will be some uh, TMs that I'm gonna be buying later on to actually boost up my Pokemon's uh, moves right here now this area is the drugstore which of course you'll actually find a whole bunch of uh, you know mi mi vitamins and minerals and all that stuff and if you go right here 
this is where you usually uh, go to actually buy yourself a water, lemonade, and all that stuff just to give to a kid to, so they can give you like a TM, rare TMs and all that stuff. But this guy right here is saying, I think she wants orbs to awaken a rare a Pokemon in Naljo. Just a theory. Hmm. Let's see what you let's see what you got. I collect orbs. Have any? Nope, I do not have any orbs or whatsoever. And well, if you go right here, you got yourself a keg of beer, which is awesome. And well, since we are a dry kind of a walkthrough, I, I think we're just gonna just uh, stay put and just do and, and and do whatever and all that stuff. So uh, let's go right out and let's get the heck out of here and continue our exploration of this whole uh, of this whole town right here or city or whatever you like to call it. Never mind, guys. The Mar is basically the same thing as in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. So we're just going to skip that right there. And in the next episode, we're going to be going straight to... Well, let's. we're going to be going to some kind of route. But in the meantime, we're going to be training some Pokemon up. Getting them stronger and all that stuff. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we are going to be kicking some ass and taking some names. See you guys.